Hello, it's Sarah. And as you can see, this is my new Cricut Explorer. The light's really weird. I'm in the back room of the house. I'm upstairs um, because we had to connect this um, near the computer. And the computer that I'm using at the moment is the house computer. There's only me and Joe, really, and Matt. <laughs> he never gets on the computer. Um, but this is it, the Cricut Explorer. Um, I did a little bit of research before I purchased it. I've never had a Cricut machine before or a Silhouette or any of those. The Brother, there's a Brother one. There's, uh, it's basically a cutting machine, but this also writes and I think it scores and it does. I haven't scored anything yet, so maybe I'll do some scoring today. But um, I just wanted to share just in case those of you who are looking into it, I can I can share my experience with you of how why I purchased it. And also, those of you who have Cricut machines can share with me what you love about it and what you make with yours. Because um, I love to, I'm a copycat, and I love to see what you guys out there are making. So, um, and then when I make projects, of course, I'll share those with you as well. So I'm going to move over to the table. This is where our computer is um, in the back room of the house and just show you a little bit. Um, it, it's able to cut um, vinyl, like here, iron-ons, vinyl, duct tape, um, cardstock, of course, chipboard, all that type of stuff. So they give you a little packet when you get the machine so that you can start cutting right away. So this was the first um, little project. It's a thank you card and it actually wrote thank you with the pen it comes with a pen one pen um, this is like a silver metallic silver um, and then it cut out obviously you can see that it cut because this uh, cardstock behind you can see through and then it cut these little slots for you to put that paper in so this isn't glued or anything it's just all cut so that was one of the first projects that you do all for free um, this uh, machine works with a, uh, an online, I guess, what would it be called? Um, it's called Design Space, the Cricut Design Space, and that's where you input your images and do all your finagling if you want to change sizes and all that type of stuff. Um, this is a piece of like vinyl and I messed it up. I wanted to write Dream Big, but I put it on the mat the wrong way. That's fine because they give you all this stuff to try it so I haven't done anything on the duct tape yet but they give you these two big duct sheets of duct tape but of course I had to just get some regular cuts in last night or yesterday I was playing so here's some Halloween images I just wanted to share I am so impressed with this machine um, it all started when I after I did my um, peachy keen um, stamp share with you guys one of my subbies and I don't remember who had mentioned that Lourdes Calazo uses them all the time the peachy keen stamps because she has the creative friend um, Cricut cartridge and she makes these layouts and cards using these friends and she stamps the faces on them because as you can see they kind of punch out the well this is the creative critter cartridge um, so I did this little Halloween owl, but they kind of punch. Well, this one's not a good example, um, but like, and even even my ghost isn't really a good example of a face, um, a critter face that the, I'll show you um, in a minute. But that's what kind of got me curious because her cards and layouts were so intricate and these little pieces, they're just like a bunch of die cuts. It was a bunch of die cuts that she had used and I was just like, wow. And so I started researching and watched a lot of comparison videos um, I guess this machine the Explorer has only been out since February so um, and HSN just had another launch of it my husband saw it and like was gonna say something to me. I I knew nothing about these machines at all I knew nothing until I started watching YouTube videos um, anyway look at look at some of these cuts it's just amazing look at the spider web how intricate that is you can even see the little triangles in the very center and it's 
it's not ripping or anything. I mean, it's amazing. This is another. These were free. I think when you buy it, you get like two weeks free, I think, for this. It's a subscription for their library of images. That's, um, I think, 10 bucks a month. But, um, and I'll probably get it. I don't know. I'm going to wait and see. I did buy two cartridges. I got mine at Joann's, and it was on sale for $249.99 because it's regularly $300 or $299.99. Um, and the cartridges were also on sale. They were $19.99 for all the cartridges. So like this one, the Creative Friend, is a $50 cartridge. So I just, I wanted to get a couple at least while I, while they were on sale. So I hope they do that again because 50 bucks is a lot. Um, but so I've been playing with that and then I also got the Creative Critters too because, um, I was reading a blog and I wish I could remember her name because it was a fantastic blog. Um, she really loves the expression, the cricket expression. And, um, uh, anyway, um, she said it was a great beginner's, um, cartridge to have. So I just wanted to get those in play. So I did the, everything in black here though, look at this spider. This is insane. The intricate, look at those arms, the, the delicate and intricate cuts. It's amazing. Sorry, my big hands can't hold the spider. His little pinchers. So cool. So anyway, so these are just little cuts from these cartridges and then scary and they're overlays too. So you get the double effect. How cute. So then I did these. These are, um, this was just, I think these were some of the free images. I think these, these might be free images, but this little one, I think I'm going to make a card with her. This is what I mean. And I know how to make this go away now, the little cuts on her face, so that I can stamp her face and I ordered the stamps. Because my stamps don't look right on these dolls. These are too cutesy for those Prima, um, that I was using for the Prima dolls. So I got, I ordered a more cutesy one. But look at this, how adorable. I'm going to add stickles. I should have used like a glitter for the, a glitter paper for her dress. And I think I'll do it again. But, um, so fun. Look at the overlays. There's like a shadow behind. Um, this is amazing. Look at this, these owls. So amazing. And then the last thing I'll show you is, because I just wanted to make this quick. Um, I, I did it in like a much bigger size. I wanted to see what it looked like in a bigger size. So I, I found this word hoot. And then I did the same. Just pulled it down. You just put a box around it and make it big. And I just... I was kind of going for like an 8 by 10. Maybe I could frame it 8.5 by 11-ish. That is so cool, you guys. So um, that's my latest adventure. My husband is the sweetheart that said, God. So I did. And uh, so it's like Christmas in October. Um, but that's what I figured. Like maybe I could um, make some Christmas card stuff. I'm going to look. So I've just done all that Halloween stuff. But I know there's going to be... Um, Christmassy things in here and I should probably see look there's oh my god they're so cute these little people oh my god they're so cute a birthday clown a baker a princess so yeah I can't wait to get my stamps so when I make a few of these and I stamp them up I'll um, do a video to share with you guys but so those of you who have a Cricut and love it and make projects with it all the time give me some um tips on like what's what cartridges are great to get because I need I want a font cartridge probably that would be like up there I want to get a definitely a nice font cartridge I would like like a um a swirly like to make like leaves and like flourishes and things like that I think that would be a good thing to have so any ideas let me know and that's it for now thanks for watching